It was another violent weekend here in Lexington. The city recorded homicides on both Friday morning and Saturday morning. Then a shooting Sunday morning in downtown Lexington left a man in critical condition and three other people were injured. And that's after Lexington saw three homicides the previous weekend. Tonight, our Grayson Passmore talked to a man whose son is recovering in the hospital after being shot early Sunday morning. She has our top story at 11. My family, my son, is part of a mass shooting in Lexington, Kentucky. This is insanity. 25-year-old Evan Jason Smith, or Jason to his friends and family, was working to put himself through school as a bouncer at Silk's Bar on North Mill Street. His dad, Kurt Smith, says Jason broke up a fight. But around 1.40 Sunday morning, he says one of the men came back inside the bar, this time with a gun. And Jason's first move was to disarm the guy. And I, I, I get tears in my eyes. Um, I, this isn't me being hyperbolic. The detective said he was a hero. He probably saved a lot of lives that night. Police say 24-year-old Jamonte Robertson shot four people. Three of them are expected to be okay. Smith says surveillance video shows Jason risking his life to save others in the bar that night and now he's in the hospital fighting for his own. Apparently the shot went into his right shoulder, traveled across and came out the left side of his neck, but it missed, the spinal cord missed the carotid artery. As the shock wears off, Smith realizes that he's angry, but more than that, he's just really sad. It's us, it's everybody. And Smith fears it won't be long until it's someone else again. There's been a lot of um, terrible incidents in the last 10 days and people are hurting so we have to acknowledge that but we can't abandon the work that we'll continue to do. One Lexington director Divine Karama says it's clear the work his organization does with young people is more important now than maybe ever before. We're just trying to stay the course but at the same time recognize this is a unique time. And it's a time where families across the city are hurting. In Lexington, Grayson Passmore, WKYT. Robertson was arraigned this afternoon. He faces six charges, including first and second degree assault, being a convicted felon in possession of a handgun and carrying a concealed deadly weapon. He will be back in court Thursday morning for a preliminary hearing. His bond remains at $50,000.